Now to some breaking news. The fourth suspect in a public corruption scandal in Omaha plans to plead guilty. That development comes as another former police officer connected to the case is about to get out of federal prison. Brian Bastry is live in the newsroom to break it down. John Aaron, Six News has learned the chief fundraiser for the Latino Peace Officers Association, Jack Olson, who for a year and a half has been dead set on fighting the charges, will plead guilty now. Olson scheduled to go before a federal judge in Lincoln tomorrow afternoon to change his plea from not guilty to guilty. We don't yet have details on the plea deal. It isn't clear why the change of heart. Olson was scheduled to go to trial next month. Remember, he's been locked up in a county jail in Nebraska since April of 2023. The federal judge did not allow bond for any of those four suspects, worrying that they would tamper with witnesses or evidence if they were out. As chief fundraiser for the LPOA, the federal indictment alleged Olson pocketed most of the money he raised, keeping up to 80 cents of every dollar. Investigators accused him of telling donors that 100% of the funds were going to a police athletic league pace, helping underprivileged youth. The indictment alleged Olson spent $46,000 at a bar for himself and the co-defendants so they could play Keno. Remember, the co-defendants were a now former city councilman, Vinny Palermo, and two police officers, Richie Gonzalez and Johnny Palermo. Court documents indicate Olson took in more than a half million dollars in a four-year span. Six on Your Side has also learned that Johnny Palermo, the former Omaha police officer serving time for his role in the public corruption scandal, is expected to be released soon to a halfway house. That according to his attorney, Glenn Shapiro, it's several months earlier than expected. 48-year-old is currently serving his sentence at the federal prison in Leavenworth, Kansas. He wasn't supposed to get out until December, but I'm told the Bureau of Prisons offers several different programs an inmate can complete to shave off significant time from the sentence. Former police captain Richie Gonzalez, you may remember, is already out of federal prison. He was released from custody in Duluth, Minnesota last month after serving 15 months. Former city councilman Vinnie Palermo in custody in Yankton, South Dakota, is also expected to get out before his scheduled release date of January. All three pleaded guilty to wire fraud. Again, the chief fundraiser, Jack Olson, has been in custody this entire time since April of last year, vowing to prove his innocence. Now, there will be no trial. He's prepared to plead guilty tomorrow afternoon in federal court in Lincoln. On your side, Brian Mastry, 6 News.